Hello, I'm Andy and in this video I want to talk about the French card Northwest Passage. This card increases the speed of your CDBs by 20% and it also gives them extra damage versus Guardians. But how good is Northwest Passage compared to economic theory? First off, you might say Northwest Passage doesn't increase the gather rate, it only increases the movement speed. Yes, you're absolutely right, but your CDBs spend a good amount of time walking around, especially on estates and mills. So I want to find out how big is a 20% boost of speed on the gather rate of CDBs on mills and estates. So how did I find out? Well, I set up a scenario where I put in 200 CDBs and I send 100 of them on mills and 100 of them on estates. I did this test for 5 minutes and then I looked at how many resources were collected and calculated the gather rate per second with the following formula. Gather rate equals end resources minus starting resources divided by the time and the villager amount. I did this test for the following four scenarios. Unupgraded, so that means your CDBs don't have any upgrades in the mills or from the capital. Then unupgraded plus um, Northwest Passage card send. And then the same test for post imperial and post imperial plus Northwest Passage send. Now let's talk about the results. First of food. If you look closely on your CDBs, they will gather then move to the next point and then they will gather more. They don't gather when they are moving on the mill. To describe the phenomenon, I used the factor walking factor in the previous video, which is the percentage of the tooltip compared to the measured rate. For CDBs, the walking factor is at 69% and it's consistent with the, my previous tests. Now to the results for food. So for CDBs working on mills, your gather rate increases from 0.58 to 0.6 foot per second, so by 0.02 foot per second, and for post-imperial villagers, your gather rate increases by 0.03, from 1.12 foot per second to 1.15 foot per second. Let's put that into percentages. For unupgraded wills, Northwest Passage increases your gather rate on mills by 3.1% and for post-imperial you get a gather rate increase of 5.2%. This means the higher you gather rate on mills, the bigger the impact of the mo movement speed becomes, but even then it is worse compared to economic theory, which increases the rate by 10%. If you are wondering how I calculated the increase, I used the following formula. Gather rate increase equals gather rate plus movement speed minus real gather rate divided by the real gather rate base rate. Why did I use the real gather rate base rate? Because all upgrades use the base rate as a starting point. So 10% always goes off the, off the base rate and not off the current rate. Okay, so now let's do the same stuff for estates. For unupgraded CDBs on estates, you get a gather rate increase of 0.2 from 0.46 to 0.48 coin per second. And for post-imperial villagers, you get a gather rate increase of 0.97 to 1.01, so by 0.04 coin per second. Or, to put it into percentages again, without upgrades, you're getting a gather rate increase by 3.3%, and with post-imperial upgrades, you're getting a gather rate increase by 7.1%. So that means also on estates, your villagers get a better benefit from economic theory than from Northwest Passage. Now let's summarize the main findings of this video. Without Northwest Passage, CDBs have a walking factor of 69% and on estates they have a walking factor of 74%. This is consistent with my previous video where I estimated a walking factor of 70% is a decent estimation for walking factor on mills and estates. Secondly, if you use this card in treaty or in deathmatch and you want to improve your gather rate on mills and estates, then that increase is 3 to 6% depending on how many cards and upgrades you have for mills. And for estates, the increase is 3 to 8%. Keep in mind, the post-imperial means I only upgraded all technologies in the mills and estates and in the capital and I did not send any cards except Northwest Passage. So in reality, the gather rate increase might be a bit higher than I showed in the graphics before. But everything considered, it's still worse than economic theory. Okay, so this is the end of this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And also let me know of your opinion of this card in the comments. If you like these kind of videos, then consider subscribing and let me know what card you want to know about next. Thanks for watching and see you guys around. Bye bye!